Alright, we are going to look at one more way in which we can use a video to be able to capture what we're doing in the classroom to upload to YouTube for the kids. Uh, what we are going to do is we are going to use our Elmos and we are going to um, be able to work on paper and then uh, be able to see it on the computer screen so that we can capture it as a video. I am using the software that's called ImageMate that's on your computer. If it's not on your desktop, then you can always go to your start menu down at the very bottom and hit it from there, but it's called ImageMate. Okay? In math, whenever you're working, I'm going to enlarge the screen so y'all can see it, whenever you're working problems, and you're going through your homework problems or whatever you're doing, you can actually go in and um, put your problems down to be able to solve them, talk your way through your problem to where we would have our balance beam, get our upside down T, and we'd have to subtract 5 off of both sides because of inverse operation with order of operations. And so those cancel out, so I have 2x is equal to 1. So then I would divide by 2, divide by 2, so x is equal to 1 half. And then I can always put that back into the equation. And check my work, because I know all students check their work, and y'all know that is true if you are a math teacher because you've told them 950,000 times to do that. So you put it over 1, so you have 1 plus 5, and yes, that does equal to 6. So therefore, I know I have the correct answer. But that is how we can use Screencast-O-Matic with our Elmo. So if we're talking maps for social studies, if we are um, looking at something in science where we're looking at worksheets or we are dealing with periodic table anything like that you should be able to use the image mate software from your elmo i am not sure what it is on the high school's duquesne system but um, you can do that and go from there y'all have a great evening